Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths Key Skill video on finding the average speed by combining two parts of a journey. So Tom travels 110 kilometers at a speed of 73 kilometers per hour. He then travels 119 kilometers at a speed of 39 kilometers per hour. Work out Tom's overall speed for the entire journey. Now, whenever you want to combine speeds from different parts of a journey, or even combining densities for two different objects that you have, you can use a table. So I put the speed, distance, and time as the three rows, and then the different columns represents different parts of the journey. So this first column is gonna be for the first part of the journey. The second column is gonna be for the second part of the journey. And then the third column is going to be overall for the entire journey. So let's put in the information that we know already. Tom travels 110 kilometers initially, so that's the distance, the first part of the journey, 110. I don't bother putting in the units. And he went at a speed of 73 kilometers per hour. So that's the speed, S for speed, 73. And then he traveled 119 kilometers, so that goes in the distance for the second part of the journey at a speed of 39 kilometers per hour. And we want to work out his total overall speed, so the speed overall. So we want to work out this. Now note, by the way, that we can add the two distances because the overall distance will just be the sum of the distances from the different parts of the journey. So if we add these two together, we get 229 kilometers. We can also add the times, however long it took for the first part of the journey, and then however long it took for the second part of the journey, we can obviously add those times to get the overall time. The only thing that we can't add is the speeds. So we're going to have to work out the speed using the overall distance and the overall time. At the moment we don't have any time, so let's use this kind of speed distance time formula. So if I just use my triangle, I know some teachers don't like the triangle, but I do. Speed is equal to distance over time. That gives you this triangle. And we want to work out time. So if I put a little line there, time is distance over speed. So if I do distance over speed, so 110 divided by 73, that gives me 1.5068. And I put lots of decimal places so I don't get any rounding errors. And this time here is distance over speed, 119 over 39. So 119 over 39 and that gives me 3.05128 and we want the overall time and as I said earlier we just add those two together that gives you a total time of 4.55808 that will probably do and now we want to work out the speed well we know that speed is distance over time so if I just draw that again SDT put the line here, the speed is the distance over the time, so we want the overall distance divided by the overall time to get the overall speed. So we do the overall distance, 229, divided by the overall time, 4.558, and that gives me a speed of 50.2, and at this point I am going to put in the unit because this is the final answer and the speed is going to be kilometers per hour to be consistent with the other unit. So that is the final answer.